Hello everybody, this week I have a new pigment from Inglot. Uh, this one is number 86. It is one of those multi-chrome pigments, but this one is chunky. So I'm gonna show you this eye makeup application really fast, and then we will get to the review. Let's get started. Okay everybody, let's get started. All I have is just an eye cream. I love using Strivectin eye cream. It's just very soothing and I think it really helps temporarily with the crow sweet situation here. But yeah, let's get started. So today I'm going to use another product for a primer. And <laughs> it's an already discontinued product but I just have a tiny little sample I'm trying to finish. This is Makeup Forever Aqua XL Cream Eyeshadow. I don't know, do you remember these? I checked their website, but I don't remember seeing these products anymore. So anyways, the problem with this product, I think why it might be discontinued, if it is discontinued, is because these products, even though they are great as a base, they are so tacky, sticky, they dry out so fast. So the best way for me to use is just over eye cream if I go in directly. So to me, they don't work as a eyeshadow on their own because they crease and they are so uncomfortable on my hooded eyes. However, they work great as a base. So go figure. So what I do is I just use this on my eyelid with a big concealer brush. This is by Real Techniques. This is not something I like to do on a daily basis because I don't like to do a lot of circular motions. My eyes are really, really sensitive. I'm gonna get a little bit more. I'm trying to finish this up. I have so many tiny little samples of highlighters, lipsticks. I mean, I definitely don't need to buy anything for a long, long time. The only thing I am eyeing right now is actually the uh, Melt cosmetics the Beetlejuice juice collection because I love purples and I don't have too much of greens like these fun greens though so maybe I may buy that one because I really want to it's so much fun and it has been a while since I last purchased an eyeshadow palette yeah I may get something I don't have anything from Melt Cosmetics, so it may be a fun start, fun introduction to the brand. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but this is extremely patchy here. So to clean up this patchiness on the crease and the brow bone area, sorry, I can't speak, I'm too excited. Uh, I'm just going to use a concealer now. So the concealer is still the same, the Tatcha Eye Cream slash Concealer. Um, this product is kind of building on me, like I like it a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be a repurchase. I think I'm going to go straight with a concealer next time. I still have a ton of product. Now I am using another brush, this is again by Real Techniques, this is base eyeshadow brush. So I'm just going to blend some of this concealer to this area and kind of hope that this patchiness will be a little bit eased up. I can never do this type of makeup on a daily basis because my eyelids will be bleeding. Seriously. Let's set this brow on area. I don't want to regret it later on. Where's my brush? Okay, I'm gonna get this finger like brush. This is by Sonia Kashuk. It's an eyeshadow brush. <laughs> yeah, I always assume this is a concealer brush, but anyways, it's apparently an eyeshadow brush. And I'm gonna set my eyebrow area with just like a, you know, simple eyeshadow. This brow bone area is very problematic. Ugh, I have a lot of texture there. This week I got this MAC brush. This is 240S. It's huge blending brush. But if you like to use satins in your crease or whatever, this just diffuses the color really, really good. 
So it's a very nice blending brush. I still haven't used it with matte eyeshadows, but with satins it just works perfect. And of course it almost covers my entire <laughs> eyelid space because it's a huge brush. But I like to apply the satin eyeshadows just very lightly. It's a super soft brush. I already washed it three times. It doesn't irritate my eyelid space, so that was really important for me. So if it also works with my matte eyeshadows, I have a new favorite blending brush. This is number 86 again. It's another duochrome pigment. I see purple, gold, green. Look at that. However, this is one of those chunky pigments. Okay, so it is important to use a sticky base. If you can, just use a glitter glue, seriously. So, so good. I mean, look at that shift. Uh, I mentioned it in the last video, but if I just try to do swatches with this, <clears throat> it's not going to show up much. It's just going to look like skin and glitter. But on the eye, it's a different case. So, I think I should have used my Concrete Minerals eyeshadow base. The electric eye primer will be amazing with this because that's like an eye balm and it just matches so good with glittery products um, it's the eyeshadow base for mineral eyeshadows and it's just like a balm like texture so it works really good with these type of pigments okay guys now I have this Natasha Denona blue purple palette and I'm gonna use the color Aubergine and yeah then I'm gonna go into this smoky plum shade uh, let's start with it now I'm gonna use the Smith brush it is two three five what I love about this brush is that it is just this it has this edge can you tell like, it makes it very easy to place press color in the outer corners the only thing I hate about these brushes is that they are so scratchy so I just do patting motion I'm gonna get the color over again Just gonna press it in the outer corner. Matte eyeshadows in these palettes are drying out, so I have to really start using them up as much as I can. And I don't know if you can tell, but there is this very sharp transition from this glittery shade to this matte shade. So in between, I'm going to use a shimmery color. And for that one, I'm going to use this smoky plum shade. Ugh, this one. So yeah, it's a nice shade to transition between the two. I'm just gonna get a clean brush like this. This is a blending brush and I'm gonna blend the edges a little bit. Okay you guys, I am pretty much done. The only thing I wanna do one more time is to go with the um, very light shade one more time. I use this color, Buttery, to set my brow on area. It's not entirely matte, it is, it's matte slash satin. Now I'm going to complete my face makeup, clean up all this fallout from my face, and then I'm going to review this week's pigment. These are chunky pigments, and they are so difficult to use. Even though it looks really yummy like this, when I use it, I usually have to go through some hassle. I just press it with my fingers but your base really matters when it comes to these and I tried using the product with wet brush I mean usually it is always the same case even if I don't have fallout right away throughout the day I start seeing some sparkles on my skin so yeah these chunky ones are a little bit of a hassle 
and when it comes to this purple green you know like gold shift there are so many pressed versions already I will go for a pressed version so anyways you guys this is it for this week I hope you guys liked the review thank you so much for watching stay safe and I will see you next week with a new pigment bye